now we can learn what a pivot table can do and we're going to take it step by step and the first one we're going to focus on is the values section anything you pull into the value section some sort of expression will be done to it so it'll be summed or averaged or counted so this is where you're going to put anything that you want Excel to do a calculation on what you can see is I can go and I can pull items so I'm going to click and hold and drag down and the various items will appear so I can actually bring a whole bunch of costs and see them next to each other it's also important to realize that it's possible to bring the same item many times so you'll see I've got some of bull and I'm going to drag it down in this case four times so at the moment it doesn't look particularly useful but you'll see we have the ability to make changes to each of these as they are standalone fields but they're all based off the same same information source before we see what we can do with these various values just something to notice here is that the moment you have more than one value you'll see that in the columns this item appears it's a little expression showing how the values are going to be shown the benefit of a pivot table is that these can be moved around so for example if it's there all the values are shown in their own column if I click I can drag it below here and when I let go notice that now it is a subsection of each of the months if we don't like it there I can click and drag it above the month you'll notice now it gives you the calculation with the rows underneath it I'm going to go put it back to where it was and let's now see what we can do with each item the way we prefer to work is to use the right click so if we've got an issue with something here we go to it we right click and you'll see a whole bunch of options appear and in this case what we're interested in is this thing called value field settings when I click on that what it's doing is telling me all the things I can do not only to that cell but to all the numbers in that column in that field so this field is one single set of items and anything we do to it via the pivot table tools will affect all the items in it and when the pivot table grows whatever you've specified here will continue with the rest of the pivot table so just some of the things you can do with it you'll notice that it tells you what the source name is so that's what it's called in the original database it tells you the custom name so it says sum of bill but as you can see you can actually change it my advice is rather wait right till the end to change it because what's quite useful is that this tells you what's happening to this field so for example if I click on count notice, notice it's saying count of bill if I change back it says sum of bill the moment you change the name it won't do that so you can change the name there you'll see you have the ability to summarize values bar and this is where some of the power of pivot tables comes in by default in this case the pivot table has decided to sum these but notice we can count them or we can average them or max and min them so for example if I change it from the sum which gives us the total to the count you'll see it's now counting how many data entries does it see in January February and March if I right click again and say value field settings and I change it to average it tells me what the average in this case the average cost of call was in January February March there's a max so it tells me the maximum single entry it can find and there's a min and again it shows the minimum entry it can find and you can see there are other ones as well there's a product it counts the numbers some standard deviation and some variances so using this method you can quickly get out of a database it's sum the count and average etc I'm going to change it back to sum so for example perhaps here's the sum I'm going to change that to account and we could calculate the average but we don't need to because it will calculate for it 
You'll also notice the formatting is not great. The best way to format cells in a pivot table is to choose that cell, right click, value field settings, and you'll see at the bottom here you've got a number format button. When I click it, it pops up with a screen that looks very similar to the normal, normal format cells. You don't have the other tabs though. But what's most important is here, anything you do will be applied to the entire field. So in this case, I'm going to change it to a number, use thousands, two decimals is fine, and make it red. Notice I've only clicked on one cell here. When I say OK, notice that that entire column's format changes to be the format we want it to be. At the same time, notice that none of the other formats have changed. So it's very important to understand that this column here, which is that one there, those are related. So what you do to this one will not happen to any of the others. So each of these are standalone. And the benefit of that is we can then individually specify what we want to do. So there's a sum, there's a count, and there's an average. So I can now format that one and perhaps this one we want a little bit more detail so three decimal points when I say okay you'll see that one is formatted like that